Hey ladies and gentlemen, so today for our back to school blog hop, I am going to show you how to do um, embossing using a dry embossing folder and ink. So really you're going to do ink embossing with this. So what I've got in front of me for my supplies that you're going to need on hand is an embossing folder. This is our close to my heart arrow, fo arrow folder. <laughs> Some cardstock that you're going to use and mine's going to be used to complete a card an ink of your choice and then I've got other things like my card base, my cuddle bug and the papers that I'm going to be using to put my project together. So those, oh and most importantly a baby wipe. So if you get those things together you'll be all ready to try this out for yourself. Okay so the next thing you're going to have to consider is where you want your ink to be on your surface project. You can put it on the arrows which is on the side where the arrows are raised or you could put it on the background and have your arrows remain the color of your cardstock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each surface and show you a finished sample so that you can see how it comes out so it's really clear to you and the baby wipe is to clean those off those surfaces off really well between you so that it doesn't transfer over to other projects. What I have when I've um, taken the embossing folder and the ink and I've rubbed the ink on either side. So the side where the arrows are raised, the ink will only sit on the raised arrows. So when you run it through the embosser, you'll get a much cleaner copy than this because um, I actually, when I opened the folder, I wasn't careful. So you do want to be careful opening the folder. But what it does, and I'll bring this a little closer, is it transfers the ink into the groove as it embosses. So you get this really great embossed look with some ink. So you can see on the back, that's what it would have looked like. And based on where I put the ink, that's what I got. Now the other side, and this is a piece I'm going to use in my card. I love it. I put the ink all over here and I just smeared it all over this side of the folder. So it meant that the ink did not go in the grooves where the arrows are. So the arrows came out crisp and white and beautiful. So that is how you can use ink in your dry embossing folders. And when it's all put together, here is your final card.